Welcome back to the Seafood News Weekly Video brought to you by Erner Berry's Reporter, the quarterly news magazine for the food industry professional, packed with the latest industry headlines, analysis, and trending articles. Contact advertise at ErnerBerry.com to be a featured sponsor in the spring edition of the Reporter, which is distributed to thousands of protein industry professionals, including a 5500 bonus distribution to attendees at Seafood Expo North America in Boston. Make sure you are in front of your customers. I'm Amanda Buckle, running this weekly video ship solo. In our top story of the day, the process to open as much of the West Coast as possible to crabbing at the same time went out the window with demoic acid and low meat recovery rates. The California and Oregon border area crab had issues stretching past January 15th. However, the states are ready to open the remaining coastline to crabbing. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife will open the area from Patrick's Point in Humboldt County, north of the California-Oregon border, starting January 2nd. Crabbers will have a 64-hour gear setting period before harvest begins on January 25th. Meanwhile, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife said that Oregon's crab season south of Cape Arago near Coos Bay to the California-Oregon border will open on February 1st. Meanwhile, according to recent statements of some leading Russian fishermen and experts of the Russian Federal Agency of Fisheries, up to 30% of Russian-caught fish and seafood is destroyed despite the recent efforts of the state to reduce these figures over several years. According to the latest assessments of the 5 million tons of fish annually produced in Russia, about 1.7 million tons are not used. In general, most of the fish and seafood is lost in Russia during its transportation and processing due mainly to an outdated logistics system left over from Soviet times. And in our final story of the day, Americans consumed 16 pounds of seafood in 2017, which was a big jump from the 14.9 pounds consumed in 2016. However, those numbers are nowhere near the amount of poultry and meat that Americans consume on a yearly basis. According to the USDA, Americans consumed 109 pounds of poultry and 108 pounds of meat in a year. So, how can the seafood industry compete? That was a hot topic during the National Fishery Institute's The Power of Seafood 2019 panel at the Global Seafood Market Conference last week. The panel was presented on information obtained by a survey of U.S. grocery shoppers and what they found might surprise members of the seafood industry. 21% of consumers that participate in the survey can be classified as frequent seafood eaters or those who eat seafood two or more times a week. When looking at those who eat seafood occasionally, or once a month to one time a week, that percentage jumps to 35%. What the survey found was that seafood consumers do not feel very knowledgeable about seafood. These consumers want to become more knowledgeable, but believe that there's a lack of information about seafood available to them. And that wraps up our news for the week. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comptel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Thanks for watching.